Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. In today's video, we are looking at the 1944 Wheat Penny that is worth money. Now, I'm going to show you different things to look for in your Wheat Pennies that can make them valuable. Real quick, don't forget to go check out CouchCollectibles.com. Link is down in the comments below. We have coin microscopes, coin scales on the store, so be sure to check that out if that's for you. All right, so hopping right into it, guys. First up. We have the 1944D with the D mint mark over the S mint mark. So we see a couple of examples of that here in the images displayed. You can clearly see those S mint marks right underneath the D mint mark. So always be on the lookout for that. You can find these with the USB coin microscope, couchcollectibles.com. And let's check out some of these D over S mint marks. Now here is a 1944 penny that has the D over the S mint mark. However, it's not in the greatest condition. You can see the condition of the coin. You know, very poor condition, but this coin still sold for over $125. So even if it's in bad condition, these coins are still going to sell. Now, if we look at this next one here, this one is a D over an S mint mark as well. If we zoom in there, you can kind of see it's a little bit blurry, but this penny sold for over $170 on eBay. The coin has not been graded. You can tell that it's a very circulated coin. It's not in mint state condition or anything like that. Now, if we're talking the big bucks, we're talking valuable 1944 pennies. This D over the S mint mark is very, very valuable because the coin has an extremely high grade of a mint state 66. So if you're not familiar with coin grading, I have whole videos on that. Be sure to just type in Couch Collectibles Coin Grading on YouTube and you will find those videos. Now, Mint State 66, the coin grading scale only goes up to 70, so it's an extremely high grade. And this penny, because of that, and because of the D over the S mint mark, this penny sold for over $21,000. So it's a big difference when you go from a $100 coin to a $21,000 coin, and that is because of the grade, which is ultimately the condition of the coin. Now also, there is a double die obverse, so always be on the lookout for doubling on the lettering and the date of the 1944 Wheat Penny. Now moving on to a 1944D, again, this one is not the D over the S mint mark, this is a D RPM, so the D mint mark has been repunched, a repunched mint mark RPM, if you're not familiar with that, or if you're new to coin collecting, or just new to the channel. That is what an RPM is. So if we move here to an error coin, if we zoom in there, you can see that this 1944 penny here has been double struck and it's 10% off center. We see that both again on the reverse as well. And this 1944 wheat penny sold for over $585. So that's pretty cool, super simple errors to look for, very noticeable errors, I guess uh, you could say. I don't know if it's gonna be super easy to find them because it's probably not, but uh, you could definitely find error coins and pocket change. Now this next one is also a double struck coin from 1944, and we can see that there in the image displayed. And this 1944S, San Francisco minted wheat penny, sold for a little over $55. Now, if we look at this 1944 no mint mark, this coin does not have any types of errors or anything. It's solely valuable because it has the high grade of a mint state 67. So that is what's gonna give it a lot of value. And that's why this penny sold for over $2,400. Now something really crazy to look for on the 1944 penny. As you guys know, in 1943, they were steel pennies. So in 1944, they went back to producing copper pennies. However, there's been a few authentic 1944 steel pennies that have been found. So if you find a 1944, it looks steel, you definitely uh, wanna join, press the join button, blue join button on my channel, send me some pictures of that. Once you join, you can send up to 10 coin pictures a month, and I will give you my feedback on your coins. A lot of fakes out there for the 1944 steel. A lot of them are coded, and they're not really actually steel. But if you find an authentic steel 1944 penny, we're talking big money. So if we look here at this one, this is a 1944D that was struck on a zinc coated steel planchet. So you can see that, uh, you know, it's not the copper penny, and this penny, sold 
for over $37,000. But that's not it. If we take a look at this next one here, this is a 1944 S. That was struck on a zinc plated steel planchet as well. It weighs 2.6 grams. Now the copper pennies would weigh 3.1 grams. So that's a good way to tell if you have a steel or a copper. So keep that in mind, get you a coin scale, couchcollectibles.com. Now this is an extremely, extremely valuable penny and it's because it does have a high grade as well. So it's gonna sell for more than the last coin. This penny sold for over $370,000. That's right, $370,000. Let me know in the comments below, what in the world would you do with over $300,000? I know I would definitely buy a house and probably invest some money and save, save some money and buy a lot of coins, of course, too. Now for the 1944S high graded penny, this penny sold for over $3,000 and that's because of the high grade, like I said, this penny doesn't have any types of errors or anything like that. Now same for the 1944D high graded penny, no errors, just a high grade and that's why the coin sold for over $2,000. All right, guys, we're doing a live stream tomorrow, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you guys are there. And until then, I'll see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.